In today's lesson on Define 2.0 from Nick Software, we'll take a look at how the software integrates within Adobe Photoshop's Convert for Smart Filter feature. First thing we'll do is go to the Filter menu and drop down to Convert for Smart Filter. And as soon as we do this, you'll see a change in the background layer in the Layers palette from Background to Layer 0. We can now go into the Define Noise Reduction interface and we can apply our noise reduction. In this case I've got it set up to automatically profile the image. It's reaching out right now to the image to measure the amount of noise reduction that's needed in all the different areas of the picture. This is great because I don't have to think about this now. Automatically it's already reached out for several areas of the image where there's no texture, there's no detail, and it's looking for that particular noise from, from image to image whether it's high in chrominance noise or color noise or high in luminance or contrast noise and the software has eliminated it at that point so let me zoom in to a hundred percent I'll just double click on the live image and click the split preview so you can see the before and after and you can see look in this background area you can see that that noise is completely gone and yet the sharpness still remains noise might be a nice effect for some parts of this image in, case, in fact in point we might want to go to reduce go to control points and let's place a minus control point right here on in this tonality in our insect maybe we want to remove any noise reduction in that particular color tone just to keep that that grittiness that feel to the the wings of the insect so we can do that by that minus control point so we can click OK and go back into Photoshop and as you'll see the layer now has changed from a standard layer to now a layer with a smart filter and the smart filter is named Define 2.0 now in the future if you need to go back in and edit and make a slight adjustment again I can just click on that area Define 2.0 in that smart filter and it'll take me back into Define again and you can see right there is my control point and my measurements are right where they were as it was measured the first time. So it'll save all of those settings giving us the ability to go back and make subtle changes at a future date.